following champion versus champion contest is a hell in a cell match. Big time singles matches on in deck here. And Byron, what WWE should we expect to see here tonight? Well, given the safety superstars the appear to be in here tonight, I fully expect to see one of the most competitive matches we've seen in a very long time. From New York, weighing in at 237 pounds, he is the Intercontinental Champion, Keith. And introducing the champion from Norman, Oklahoma, weighing in at 265 pounds. He is the WWE Universal Champion, Daniel. Two of WWE's top stars ready to go here in one-on-one -on -one action. This is the match I've been waiting for, guys, ever since it was announced. I've been looking forward to seeing these two clash. And we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Without a doubt, this is going to be one of the most hellacious matches we have ever witnessed. What you call a bad landing? Beautiful technique. Ooh, 
brutal body shot. Guys, we all know the storied history of Hell in a Cell, but we'd be remiss if we didn't at least mention that the first time anybody laid eyes on this demonic structure was back in October 1997 at the Bad Blood pay-per-view. Up and down. The champ's absorbing some offense here. He comes into this championship match with a full tank of gas and ready for a fight. Reflecting again on the first time we saw the Hell in a Cell structure, I don't think anybody at the time could have envisioned the truly merciless moments this structure would provide over the years. And amazingly, Michael, those moments somehow become more and more barbaric with each passing match. Wisely bringing the action back into the ring. Just a nasty headbutt. Oh boy, he is rolling. Guys, we oftentimes talk about the dangers of competing inside Hell in a Cell. But let's not forget these competitors aren't the only ones in there. It could be just as dangerous for the official as well. We've seen this before. Spear! Nobody does it quite like him. Now that's going for it all. I agree with Michael's point on the dangers of this match. I mean, the environment is so brutal for all involved. Just go back to look at referee Tim White after he officiated one of those matches. Yeah, he was never the same after that. In fact, White said Hell in a Cell ruined his life. Go! Ooh! But he's got to capitalize now. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. Can he finish the job? Oh, boy, he is rolling. Here we go. DDT. I'm not sure how much he has left. Oh, it's not going to be pretty. Go to sleep, GTS. Night, night. I knew it was a cover here. Yes. Unreal performance. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your Intercontinental Key. And there's your winner. Hey, they both gave it their all, but in the end, we were left with the best man standing. And a big thank you to everybody watching WWE's Hell in a Cell on the WWE Network. What an amazing...